Dinosauria Horizons, Cretaceous Corals. Act 1, The Promise. By Weed Hula Hall. Cretaceous period, 85 million years ago. Earth fills with rich creatures, flora and fauna. A beautiful river, filled with majestic forest by the Boat River Band, clear mirror water reflection and some pterosaur flying on the river. Two stegosaurus drinking water beside a river, one drinking and one raise its head watching the lake as it is inspecting any danger approach. At the other side of the river, there are some parasaurolophus enjoying the green foods. The stegosaurus pair change swift as one take over the watch duty. In front of the stegosaurus, a pterosaur scouting for fish, flying on the river. There. The pterosaur lock its sight at a fish jump up from the river. The pterosaur fly up a little higher, then it dive down aiming to catch the targeted fish. Splash. Big water splash on the river, Diana such as, a giant crocodile-like creature emerge from the water and bite the pterosaur then drag it into the river with another big water splash. Both stegosaurus panic scare and run away from the river, into the forest then passed by a grassy land with herds of triceratops enjoying the meal. Rum. Loud impact sound as two adult triceratops charge at each other, head to head, locking their horn and pushing each other seemly they are competing their strength. There are few triceratops circles around the two competing, with one of them is a young triceratops having a unique white color star mark in front of its forehead between his two horns, the young triceratops is named White Star. Push harder father. You can do it, said White Star. White Star was cheering to one of the competing triceratops which having some red marks on its frill, named Red One. Red One opponent was a younger but larger in size triceratops named Hard Horn. Both Red One and Hard Horn lock their horns and pushing each other. Hardhorn being younger and more powerful, Red One start to lose its strength and being pushed back. Come on father. Don't lose. White Star cheer loudly, worrying his father may lose. Red One suddenly roars and swings away Hardhorn to break off the lock and resume the fight. Without giving Red One a chance to rest, Hardhorn ramped towards Red One again, taking his advantage on the strength and stamina by locking horn. Hard horn was fast, Red One does not have its hoping time to rest. Red One has no other option but only to lock horn again with hard horn. Both horns lock and it is the competition of strength. Hard horn taking all the advantage and keep pushing Red One backwards. Red One hind leg could not substance the force, fall down and hit the ground. Stop. I, I lose. Red One in deep pain calling for quit the fight. No father. White star upset. All right. I'm the leader of the herd now. Hard Horn claims the victory. Hard Horn roars loud and the surrounding Triceratops some rejoice of the win, some head down upset the loss. Nicely done kid. Now I pass the leadership onto your shoulder. Take care of the herd will you? Red One praised Hard Horn for its success. My master. I will. Hard Horn replied. Hard Horn and all the Triceratops leave the area, left only Red One and White Star staying there. How's your leg father? White Star asks. Red One eyes wide open looking at White Star, surprised by the sharp observation. It's okay. I just need to take some rest now. Red One replied. After took some time resting Red One pushed itself up and start to walk towards a nearby forest with White Star following. We'll win next time right father? White Star still hope Red One will win next time. I'm sorry son. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid it is time for me to retire. Red One regrets to explain that it has reached his limitation as getting older. Red One stops at the large tree and lay down to rest. I see. Don't worry father, I will grown up faster to take care of you. White Star try to enlighten its father. Ha ha. I still not that old son, I still. Red one reply happily but something has breaks its line. White star's face suddenly changes, it become afraid and shaking. Red one notices the expression of white star. What's going on son? Red one asks. Rex, it's Rex. White star frightened by what it saw. Red one quickly turn its head towards the direction white star staring. A huge T-Rex standing at the other side of the large tree and it looks very aggressive. 
a deep scar on its face, between both eyes or the weight of the left side of its mouth, this huge T-Rex is named the Great Scar. Great Scar showing its razor-sharp teeth and the aggressive stare towards the two Triceratops, sending a message as if it's going to attack any time without warning. Red One quickly gets up and starts roaring and pressuring its blood towards its head to make the growing effects on the frill. Red One keeps roaring and swings its horn in front of the Great Scar as a sign of warning and threatening to it. Red One's action did not bring positive outcome but only to make Great Scar even more anger, as Great Scar roars even louder than Red One, it start to stomp its leg and preparing to charge towards the Triceratops. What? That's weird. Red One surprises by Great Scar's response. What father? White Star asks. A T-Rex would have back off. This one is no joke son, now stay back, I would have to fight it. Red One explains. Red One advances his threat neck towards Great Scar, keep swinging the horns and roars. Great Scar did not affect by the threat and start to attack, it threatened Red One with a starting bite in front of Red One, aiming the horns. The threatening bite did not scare off Red One either. Red One dodges the bite, swing its head and ramp towards Great Scar, aiming the Rex's leg. Great Scar moves its body to the side and avoids the leg being ramped. Red One misses attack which its body exposes in front of Great Scar. Great Scar used the advantage of it, opened wide its mouth and aiming to bite a chunk of meat at Red One's back. Red One had survived many battle in its life being the leader of the Triceratops herd, it clearly know the risk of the misramping attack at T-Rex and what will happen if the back's being exposed to attack. Red One did not stop at the misramping, instead it keep running forwards. The action of continue running forwards help Red One dodge Great Scar's deadly bite. Red One attempts to turn around to face Great Scar, as it turn, its hind leg which was injured earlier could not substance the force of the turn. This causing Red One to break its hind leg. Crack. A loud bone cracking sound appears and Red One roars loud because of the deep pain. Red One nearly fall down but he uses its front leg to hold the ground to prevent the fall. Great Scar runs towards Red One with its mouth wide open. Father. White Star screams. Red One heard the scream of its son, quickly get up despite the pain of its hind leg. Red One raises its horn and swing towards the coming Great Scar. Great Scar stopped by Red One's action but it then proceed to bite one of Red One's horn. Red One tries to break loose the Rex's bite. Meanwhile, Great Scar is not releasing the bite, not without bite off the horn. After few attempts of pulling, Great Scar successfully bites of one of Red One's horn. Red One deeply pain, swing its other horn aiming Great Scar's face. Red One almost success, it did scratch a deep wound at Great Scar's chin. With lots of blood spilling out, Great Scar roars loud by the deep pain. I cannot drag the fight any longer, my hind legs is failing me. Red One thinking while losing its strength. Red One takes the advantage of Great Scar being distracted by the pain. It charge and ramp straight towards the Rex's belly. Great Scar saw the coming Red One. It then regains its balance and dodges the ramp, but it was not quick enough to completely avoid the attack. The broken horn of the Red One scratches another deep wound at Great Scar's leg. Great Scar again roars loud in deep pain, but this time it managed to take advantage of the misramping. Chase down Red One and successfully bite on Red One's neck. The deadly bite of Great Scar is fatal for Red One, but Red One refused to give up as he struggles to break free and keep looking at White Star as he was so worried about what's going to happen to its son if he fails. Father. No. White Star screams loudly. Red One keep trying to break free, but not success that easy as Great Scar refuses to give up the bite as well. The more Red One struggle the more Great Scar's teeth penetrate deeper. Red One starts to lose its strength due to losing too much blood, tears come out from Red One's eyes as it starts to give up hope and thought of what will happen to White Star afterwards. Suddenly Great Scar roars loudly by the pain on its injured leg. It was White Star, as it ran at full force to ramp Great Scar's injured leg when Great Scar is so busy biting Red One. The brave act of White Star action causes Great Scar to let loose the bite on Red One's neck. Great Scar angrily looks towards White Star, and then uses its powerful tail to whip White Star. Like a piece of leaf, White Star flies far away in distance by the powerful whip. 
red one unable to take advantage of the situation as it barely can stand at this stage. White star gets up after the fall, despite being badly injured by the fall, it bravely roars hard at Great Scar, while tears start to drop from its eyes. Great Scar roars back loud towards White Star. Leave the kid alone. Hard Horn roars loudly. Behind White Star at far distance come Hard Horn and a fellow Triceratops running fast to come to the aid. Great Scar saw the coming Triceratops but it didn't plan to back off as it continues to roar even louder toward the coming threat. White Star did not give up either. With the coming aid, it continues to roar hard hoping Great Scar can leave its father. Suddenly Great Scars look towards the red one which lay nearing the large tree and did another loud roar towards the coming Triceratops then with dragging its injured leg. It run fast towards the direction behind the large tree. With successful fight off Great Scar, White Scar rushed to its father. 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 White Star cries. Well done son. Red one prays White Star for its bravery. Father. Please get up. White Star pleads. I'm afraid I cannot son. Red one breathes heavily while apologize. Father, no, don't leave me. White star continues pleads red one not to leave him. It's okay my son, you will be alright, hard horn will take care of you. Red one tries to enlighten white star spelling. White star knows and starts to cry loudly. Hear me son. Red one asks for white star's attention. Yes, father. White star answers. Promise me, promise me that you will be brave, tough and protect the herd always. Red One leaves the final task to White Star. I will father, I promise, but you will too right? White Star made the promise but still wanting Red One to stay with him. Ha, I already had and I know you will too my son, I'm proud of you son, I'm so proud. Red One express being proud of White Star then died with the smile. No. Father. Father? No. White Star cries loud while keep shaking Red One's body. Hard Horn and the fellow Triceratops standing beside, moan the death of Red One. End of Act 1